Hey everyone, it's Nick with Retro Pixel Digital. Today we are going to learn how to add sounds to your character, footsteps. So, uh, really simple, really quick, uh, really straightforward, but very powerful. Because without footstep sounds, it just sounds like your audio is off or something is missing. So, uh, without any further ado, let's get started on this lesson. So what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and uh, open up your scene, whatever it is. So for this particular example, what I've done is I've actually just created a, uh, a brand new scene called just with a third person uh, example map. So um, you most likely will have your own scene to work with. Uh, or if you want to, um, if you want to just learn this and, and follow along, you can actually just go ahead and create a new project and then uh, set it as a games one and then set the uh, third person example map as the uh, the pre you know the the default so uh so now what i've got here is just just a regular guy um, we've always seen him but there's no sound when he runs so we're just going to be adding that in um, this is a basic tutorial uh, that's going to show you just uh, to add sounds to him um, it's not going to be specific to uh, what surface he's on, and, and we will do that in a, in a later tutorial, so uh, kind of get a little more advanced, but this is going to give you the basic idea. So first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to need to go into uh, Epic Games Launcher, uh, and I mean, or you can load in whatever footstep sounds that you have, but that's the first thing that you're going to need is some sort of footstep sound. So I've opened this up. I've actually purchased these real footsteps sound effects. There are a bunch of them online. Uh, go around, look for the ones that work for you um, and that actually uh, are, are you know specific to the sound that you're going for. So I'm just going to go here and I'm going to click on the walk sounds because that's the name of the one that I've created. And I'm going to add to that to the project. It's going to add to the project here on the right hand side. And then um, once that's done, I will be seeing it inside uh, my Unreal project. So um, you want to make sure that's all the way in there before you do, because this should be pretty quick anyway. There you go, done. Um, so now we're in there, and then we're going to see real footsteps here, OK? Um, what I'd recommend doing is either creating everything in the folder here uh, for cues and stuff, or, um, or creating another folder here called audio. Uh, I'm just going to just, for the purposes of this, I'm just going to use real footsteps and I'm just going to create something in here. Um, I'm going to go to stereo, waves, and then we're going to figure out this right here looks more like maybe cement. So I'm just going to go to cement. There's all these different ones here. So you hear these. So the more you have, the better it is as far as... Uh, you know, variation. Variation is really important because if you keep hearing this, it's going to get really weird really quick. So that's why some of these packs have a lot of really cool stuff. There's other stuff outside of the marketplace that you can look for. Just find something really cool. Find at least five or six. Okay, so the first step uh, for this, uh, no pun intended, <laughs> uh, is that we're going to we're gonna create our uh, a, a new queue. Um, I'm going to throw that in... Um, you know, I'm going to click on uh, Window and then uh, Content Browser, and I'm going to do Content Browser 2. I'm going to bring up a second window. That way it's not so messy, and we can kind of go back and forth. So uh, I'm going to go into, actually, I will go into, right-click on here. This is a good This is a good uh, thing to do here. It's just uh, sounds. So that way, anything in your project that has anything to do with sounds, you can put it into here, and it'll be easy to access and find. Um, so now I'm just going to do new folder footsteps. Okay, and now I'm going to go in here. I'm going to create, so right click here and then go to sounds. And then we're going to create a new sound queue. And I'm going to call this cement footsteps. The footsteps. There you go. Now, if I open that guy, obviously it's going to be empty. I'm just going to shrink it down so you guys can see it. All right, so in here, what we're going to see is uh, just an output here. That's all you have. So um, what we want to do is because we have the other. Um, the content browser is still open. We can kind of move that over there. And I'm going to grab all of these, shift select all those. And I'm going to drag them directly into here from the bottom. Boom. So now you got 
an insane amount. I mean, you could trim that down if you want, but uh, I'm just going to just throw... You know what? I'm just going to throw, like, that many in. Just for the purpose of this. So um, what you want to do here is you want to get uh, as many of these guys um, in there. Uh, what you want to just do is do a random. So you want to randomly play one of them. Now you, you see there's only two inputs. That's fine. We can just add more. You plug that guy into there, that guy into there, that guy into there, that guy into there, and so on. We've got three more. Okay, so now that we have all of those guys in there, we're going to have to plug them into the output. But before I do that, I like to add a modulator um, because sometimes these things are a little loud and uh, you don't really want to add that, you know. You don't want to take over your game with the sound of the footsteps. So I usually go in the modulator, volume min, I'll put to like 0.35, and then maximum, I'll put to like uh, maybe 0.5, maybe 0.25. Like really, it's it's easy to just drown out everything else with the sound of this. So this is pretty much all we have here. So we've got a bunch of these, and if we hit play Q going to show us which one it randomly picks and we'll be able to play it. So that's perfect. So now we'll hit save on that one and we'll remember cement footsteps. So the next step is uh, depending on where your animations are you're going to want to go in here. If you're using the mannequin uh, third, third person BP uh, you're going to find that in mannequin. So this is our base guy and then there's always going to be a folder with animations showing you all the different animations of the walks and runs and jumps and all that other stuff. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just go into the first one that we see the most. Um, with this guy, he's just default running, so we're just going to go to third person run. Um, so, there he goes. There's our guy. So, you can hear there's no sounds here, anything like that. We're going to pause this over here and then go into notifies. We're going to have a notifies, add notify. There's a track right here, number one. That's all we need to work with. You don't have to add any new ones or anything like that. Just right click on this area here on the right hand side of this green little thing here and right click on that and click add notify. Uh, we're going to click on play sound and this sound here is the one we're going to be using and uh, we're just going to go here for to sound we're going to click on here and type in cement. No, okay. so try that. So type in for cement footsteps you're going to click on there you're going to see that uh, sound cue. There we go. Now we're going to have to put this in the right place so in here we're going to go and we'll look at when he runs. No, we want it right there. Right where his foot comes into contact with the ground. Well, it kind of looks like it's not, but it is. So then we go here. And then we're going to do the second one. And boom. And we're going to control C and control V. And we're going to put that, make sure the little, it's not based on where the, the name starts. It's based on where the little track mark is. So there you go. So you just press play. And now you've got it. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, you'll save that. Um, and then we'll close that. And then we'll just press play. So now, somehow it just sounds like he's on gravel with these ones sometimes. But now you're going to notice that if you're to run or jump, there's no sound that jumping. So we're going to go in and we're going to do all that stuff to you. So just go through third person walk, you know, uh, same thing here. So um, he doesn't die default on the third person walk. He just runs, but that's okay. Because we'll just add that in there just in case we add that functionality later for him to walk. And then there you go. And then now. Perfect. Look at that. We'll save that one. We'll go in here. So uh, jump start. Uh, I don't really think that we need to do the start, but see, he is actually jumping, and then he's not hitting the ground, so I wouldn't worry about that. There's not going to be really a sound when he jumps. You can add a, a sound for when he actually jumps, too. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus more on... Let's we'll skip the loop, but we'll uh, focus more on when he ends and hits the ground, because that's when you're going to make the noise. So, there. And then save that and then we'll see it's pretty cool it's like a little dance uh, idle not a big deal jump uh, I believe that we should do that one as well I don't know why there's two jumps but well, let's just cover both of them right there save there's a 
same dance. And idle run 2D. Idle run. Uh, that's not running at all. Idle run. Okay. Anyway, that should cover everything, so now we can play. And when he lands, you've got all that. So, <clears throat> so there will be other animation packs. Like, if you do the advanced animation pack, there's going to be a whole bunch of different ones. So, uh, running sideways is actually be separately. Uh, you just want to add that to every single one of them and then just test it out. So, that there is it in a nutshell, honestly. Um, it's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. You can tweak it. You can play around with it. Um, but if you do want to get a little more intense, because, like, let's say, I mean, this sounds like he's in gravel. Um, but if you if you want to uh, go to another say like he runs from cement to grass or to gravel or anything like that um, there are uh, ways that we can actually specify what sounds are played when he touches different so, uh, surfaces now um, that will be a future a future one um, but uh, for this one here let me know if you have any questions <laughs>